let's talk about how you can get apple intelligence on your phone this is iphone 16 here and the first thing you want to do is go to your iphone settings and then update your software so um, as you can see i have got ios 18.9 at the moment so make sure yours is 18.1 or greater than that after that what you need to do is let me show you something so if i keep on pressing the power button there's the siri button here but this is not the apple apple intelligence hey siri have you got any apple intelligence there okay so let's go to your settings and you can see a different section here called apple intelligence and tap on this and as you can see here what it's saying is apple intelligence is not available when iphone is set to english australia so what you need to make sure is there's some information here for example at, at the moment because i'm my phone's reason is set to australia there's no apple intelligence available so if i want to access apple intelligence at the moment what i need to do is what i can do is i can go back to general iphone's general setting and then go to language and reason and then what i'm trying to do is change my reason to you uh, the countries that the apple intelligence is available right now so i'll choose united states it will take a while okay so let's see so the reason has been set to united states now let's go back to apple intelligence let me close this once and open it again let's check general language and reason reason is united states now let's go back to apple intelligence and siri and let's set to united states let's go back and as you can see as soon as i change my language to united states i can see here there's an option showing join the apple intelligence waitlist right now i have to join the waitlist because it's not available easily so what i'll do is i'll just tap here and then i'll join waitlist so it has said waitlist has been joined you'll be notified when apple intelligence is available for your phone and then your account and device information and device here may be used to check eligibility and access so this is it so once you change your reason to a different reason you can apply to be given access in the wait list and then access apple intelligence after that you will get notified once your request has been approved from the wait list thanks for watching